Today, we're going to talk about nuclear de-escalation as part of, of Title III and providing for the common defense. Start my testimony with Section 321, a section on findings, and i just like to briefly read those into the record before we talk a little bit more about it. Congress finds that the operational life of the Minuteman III intercontinental ballistic missiles can be safely extended until at least 2040. Two, the research, development, testing, and evaluation of the ground-based strategic deterrent program can be paused until 2032. And three, the existing nuclear arsenal is capable of producing damage far in excess of anything that reasonable, rational adults should want to inflict on other human beings. The purpose of this part is to lead by example on the world stage and avoid another nuclear arms race. I guess I should note that since this legislative was packaged, uh, was published on January 1st, uh, there was another, we got a couple, couple developments. And uh, let's start with the good one, which was on January 3rd, that there was a joint statement issued by the leaders of the five nuclear weapon states. And it was regarding preventing nuclear war and avoiding arms races. This is, it, was, it was really um, encouraging to see these, these countries uh, come out in support of this. And uh, just like to briefly read a couple paragraphs from their statement. And it says, uh, the People's Republic of China, the French Republic, the Russian Federation, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and the United States of America consider the avoidance of war between nuclear weapon states and the reduction of strategic risks as our foremost responsibility. We affirm that a nuclear war cannot be won and must never be fought. As nuclear use would have far reaching consequences, we also affirm that nuclear weapons for as long as they continue to exist, should serve defensive purposes, deter aggression, and prevent war. We believe strongly that the further spread of such weapons must be prevented. We reaffirm the importance of addressing nuclear threats and emphasize the importance of preserving and complying with our bilateral and multilateral non-proliferation, disarmament, and arms control agreements and commitments. We remain committed to our nuclear non-proliferation treaty obligations, including Article 6 obligation, quote, to pursue, pursue negotiations in good faith on effective measures relating to the cessation of the nuclear arms race at an early date and to nuclear disarmament and on a treaty on general and complete disarmament under strict and effective international control. It's, it's really good to hear these nuclear nations reaffirming its goals of, of nuclear de-escalation as they, as we all agree, nuclear war cannot be won. It creates a, a lose-lose situation. And so this part today, um, we'll look at ways that the United States can lead by example towards these, these, go these common goals. Now, uh, I'd also like to point out that this, these goals are generally popular with registered voters. In a October 2020 survey conducted by the Federation of American Scientists, 60% of registered voters said they would, uh, they would prefer alternatives to building new missiles. And uh, they'd prefer alternatives such as refurbishing the existing Minuteman three missiles or scrapping nuclear weapons altogether. In 2019, a program for public consultation at the University of Maryland, they asked if the government should phase out its fleet of land-based nuclear missiles, and 61% of respondents said yes. And so uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about that in these sections today. I guess the bad, the bad developments that we've had since this was introduced, I guess, is the, the conflict in Ukraine that's uh, begun in the last 24 hours. Uh, whatever happens, I think it's important to remember that nuclear war must be avoided at all costs. And these are, these are agreed upon goals and the United States should, uh, should stick to these goals and continue to work, work towards them. So next chair, I think that concludes my testimony for section 321. And